Ah yes, fandoms. Fan culture is a beautiful thing. You've got people who just like something a little bit, and they enjoy it. They watch the show, read the books, listen to the music, and then there's us. We are the obsessive Tumblr fans. We'll go from this. What's this? The new album's out. Cool, I'll have to download that sometime. And by the end of the week, we'll be this. text everybody and, and the question was how does this happen to a person how do you let it get this bad let me explain first the person's introduced to the thing hmm, this is a pretty good show then they begin wanting to know more and more about the thing so they start following blogs about it on tumblr wait I bet Jensen and Jared have walked up some stairs today. Speaking of which, I wonder what they're up to. Let me go get my charger. The obsession begins to become overwhelming, and the person suddenly realizes how amazing the people involved in the thing are. So they start overreacting, reposting and reposting and reposting everything they see, trying to learn every single thing there is to know about the thing, just wanting everything new about the thing to just come to them and they don't want it to end and it becomes like a drive like an addiction and they can't stop no matter how hard they try it's always there in everything they see they get reminded of it it's crazy what has this fandom done to me see it doesn't even have to be a relevant reference it can just be anything and out of the blue just the thought of it pops into your head and you can't stop it and you just need to know what's happening with your favorite human beings in the world right this second. Now, I'm sure some people are lucky enough not to have this all happen to them. But of course, there are pluses to being in a fandom. It's really nice. You get to be in a community online with people who share the same interests as you. Um, and you can all kind of just work together to make your fandom blow up and be known worldwide. So people who aren't in the fandom hear about it anyways. Tumblr is so weird. What the heck is the Misha apocalypse? Oh, it says Misha's an actor from Supernatural. I'll have to check out that show. I mean, it's got a pretty big fan base, so it must be good. Hm. You see what I mean? And then those people end up looking it up, and then they become involved in the show and part of the fandom, which makes us grow as a fan base. Seeing merch and needing to buy it also plays into that. It looks so real, I need it. I won't be able to live without this on my wall. So yeah, basically, you just enjoy the thing too much and you want to know everything there is to know about it. So you look it up, and then you get involved with everything and you end up following all these blogs and stuff, and you become obsessed. And it's not even really a bad thing. It's an addiction. Sure, whatever. Everybody has those. Nobody's perfect. Some people are obsessed with sports teams. What's the difference between being obsessed with a sports team and something else? Like, why is that more socially acceptable? So, I mean, yeah, everybody has that. Fandoms are great. They're a great way to express it, and that is why we are crazy psychopaths. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it and subscribe for more content like this in the future, and I will see you guys next time. And if it seems like I've worn this shirt a lot lately, it's because I filmed all of these videos in the same day, so yeah. Peace, guys.